Well, this is day two of the Farm Progress Show. Sunny skies, highs around 90 or better. Perfect weather for maturing corn and pod-filling soybeans. And we're seeing that in these markets here. Corn has dried down a lot further in this area than other parts of the Midwest, we think. In fact, some producers that are from Illinois say they may be harvesting here in the next 7 to 10 days. Ex- expect uh, conditions to improve slightly in the next week update, but we think the trade is going to be more subdued from here until that September crop report from USDA to see if they agree with some of these private estimates. We'll watch December corn holding 525, 523 by the close on Friday. November soybeans, we think 1380, 1378 would be a number we would watch. Wheat continues to perform the best of all and could actually help stabilize corn and soybeans. This is the bottom line report. You know, we mentioned many times here about labels, and every label, every livestock ID tag made by Whitex is made in Cody, Wyoming, and has been since 1967. People are taking a look at a lot of labels here at Farm Progress Show to make sure these products are made in the USA. Well, it was National Down Day in the grain and livestock trade yesterday. October live cattle may have to travel down to near 126, we think, before they could find support. And we said earlier October lean hogs would hit a wall at $89. They certainly have. 81 and a half might be the solid support on the downside. Mark Oppold wishing you a profitable day.